Texas, New York, Philadelphia, take the Jolly Ranchers out of your ears and listen up because the Keep It Moving Tour is coming your way. Yeah, guys, uh, it's a stand-up show when we play AYG with the audience. It's a good time. Uh, September 30th, we're going to be in Long Island. Mm-hmm. And then what are we doing? If we're going home for cheesesteaks. Wiz wit, baby. October Cheese steaks and vengeance. October 27th, we're going to be at Helium Comedy Club in Philadelphia. Get those tickets. They're going to move fast. I'm telling you. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? It's a little show. We sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out if they grew up to be classy. Yeah. Or if they're just a big old piece of trash. Mm-hmm. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day down here in Tootie's basement. She's very excited to have our guest back with us today. Said she was in the audience of a Tony and Tina's wedding back in the years day. ago. South Jersey. Good looking guy in the cast. They went out and had a drink. Sparks flew. It could be a <laughs> misconnection. I don't know. My co-host is coming at you from right next to me. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage? He's an international businessman. He did his first hospital will take over at the age of nine. <laughs> so do me a favor, show him a little respect and give it up for Kevin James Ryan. Hey, gang, happy to be here. Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, view, uh, rate review, subscribe on iTunes, full video available on YouTube, and as you know, those numbers are... When you point, I talk? Yeah. True to roof. True to fucking roof. Uh, YouTube's cooking, and then obviously... Uh, Patreon.com slash Are You Garbage, the greatest website ever made. Uh, you can sign up, you get bonus content, episodes of Hard Feelings, live streams, the whole fucking nine yards. Get involved, people. And how about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the magic man. He makes us all look good. First bunt of the night right there. Give it up <laughs> for T-Bone McMuffin, Toby McMullen, everybody. What up? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's from Moneyball. When yeah. you point to me. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, not- I've seen the film. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Gang, we could not be more excited to have our incredibly special guest back with us again today. He is a very funny stand-up comedian, podcaster, and actor. He has a brand new podcast coming out called Macaroni Rascals with our good pal Greg Stone. And he is going to be filming a brand new hour October 23rd at Governor's in Long Island. Do us a favor. Give it up for the one, the only, Mr. Mike Vecchione. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys for having me back. Of course, buddy. Of course, buddy. Thank you for coming. It's great. Happy to have you. It's great to be here. (laughs) (laughs) And I'll tell you what, I didn't shower. No? Before this. Why not? I had the opportunity. Because are you garbage? You're just coming in. I came in (laughs) as garbage. I want to come in as garbage and work my way to a um, civilian. Have you worked out? Probably. Have you worked out today? No, you haven't. Uh-uh. Cause you to me seem like an up at dawn going for a run guy. <laughs> you I, I, I used to see you running around Astoria. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I used I to. See, I would live in his, and he would be fucking. Yeah, he'd be looking like out. he's trying to make weight for the for the match this week. That's what I'm saying, man. Yeah. I feel like you're up at five. Cold shower. Cold coffee. Black coffee. Well, this is. Uh, I'm not up at five. I'm still a comic. <laughs> so, um, but I moved. You guys both know I moved. Sure. Uh, um, yes. So I moved into the city. And oh, it's a, uh, I didn't know you were in the city. Yeah. You're a city. I'm Becky city owns a city guy I'm now. a city guy now. Look at him. So if I talk down to you guys, that's what it's about. <laughs> Bridge um, and tunnel moving yeah, up, baby. Yeah. Brunch I every day, baby. <laughs> you know, you burrow, guys. <laughs> oh, hey, I live on the island, too. Okay. Oh, do you? I, yeah. All, All right. the way uptown <laughs> in the nosebleeds, but I'm okay. on it. All right. Well, I'll give you a little, <laughs> a little bit more little leeway. Respect, but yeah. Fully, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to. I'm gonna we cannot to hang out and get a glass of wine together, unfortunately. <laughs> We're not going to do brunch. <laughs> so I move into this new neighborhood, and uh, it's a choice between uh, I have a gym uh, options. Because I realized, I was like, oh, maybe I could just work out at home. But during the pandemic, I realized, oh, that's not a thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, that's not really going to be possible. So uh, Planet Fitness, I don't know who sponsors you guys, so I'm sorry <laughs> if I'm just bleep this out. Planet Fitness, which is like you can use every Planet Fitness in the country for three dollars a month. Basically. Sure, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then there's um, Equinox, which is cash. That's a little bit of cash. Very expensive. Yeah. It's like what's that uh, going? Like two hundred a month? What is it's, that? Uh, two thirty-five. Good soaps and stuff he like that. He knows because he's in. He's in. Thirty-five. Because you, are you there? So I had to make the decision. And Wait, I is said, Mike you know, own, uh Invest in yourself. A Manhattan somebody living out. Equinox guy. Somebody successful tweeted that invest in yourself sure and so i uh 
decided to pull the trigger on it. Oh my yeah. god! Yeah. Holy shit! I, I thought I knew you. No. Thought I smelled a little self tanner on you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> bronzer on the kids. Well, it's the frequency. It's probably from the steam room. They yeah. Have you, have you been in the, the eucalyptus room. room for yeah, a little while? Eucalyptus. Have an That's espresso in the eucalyptus room. Wow. I have an espresso in the steam room. They have an espresso stand <laughs> in the steam room. Actually, I don't think any of our guests have ever belonged to Equinox. I of course wow. they didn't. They're trash people. <laughs> They're garbage. True. And I'm talking to you. You're a garbage person. Wow. Doesn't that come with your own Peloton that you just take home with you? <laughs> you get the throw out every night. Pelotons kill children, but um, <laughs> but wow. I think it's worth it. We I did a whole thing on my podcast where um, you know the Peloton gets a bad rap because it it goes after your you know tries to kill your family, but y- it it strengthens you. Like you, <laughs> sure. if if your machine tries to kill you and then you go out in the world, uh-huh. what could hurt you? Wait, is it killing people? I don't know it, the story. It, it is killing people. Look at the news once in a while, Kevin. <laughs> Jesus, you got to tune in. Kid I mean, man. how far uptown do you live? <laughs> All, where you don't have all the way, cameras. all the way uptown, <laughs> um, as high so as it goes. I went and I pulled the trigger on it, and uh, now I've been. Now it's this weird thing where it's like I have to go to the gym. I have to go you every day. You have to. I I go every day to either even if I'm not like today, I'm not going to really work out. I'll stretch, steam, and shower because uh-huh. I have to use the facility. Wow. And I signed up for a class yesterday. Because so it's about ten is, bucks a day or something, or it's like eight bucks a day. It comes out to you'd be missing yeah. out. Yes. Wow. Well, I, I, and they have all these classes. The, re- the real reason is like, okay, it well, probably wouldn't be worth it unless oh, you have access to all the classes. Mm-hmm. Yoga, um, all kinds of fitness And classes. they're free. They're you got in- all they're that free. stuff? They're free. You just have to sign up. Yeah. You have to get a spot in them. Yeah, you have to yeah, get a spot. Gotcha. So I got a spot, and uh, now I'm just signing up for classes. I don't even know what they are. <laughs> I just went yesterday, and then this guy, it was like a Metacon. I was like, a Metcon? I don't know what this is. <laughs> but I was like, I'm almost, uh, le- I'm going to make it. So I went, and I signed up, and then it was crazy hard and i'm in decent shape You're in now great shape i'm <laughs> fasting and i've lost weight and all that stuff so i'm in pretty good shape ninja now. training how hard could that be <laughs> <laughs> i'll grab a protein bar and a smoothie oh i'll be in, in a minute guys it's basically what it was and i was like wow. so i was blown away afterwards and i was like first i went right to the instructor i'm like look it's my first time he's like weights this that over there and we did it was an aerobic weight workout and i am a mess today really and, yeah, i walked over here to kind of stretch out from my place that's yeah i like the fucking going in taking a schwitz doing the tanner and bouncing out of there <laughs> I, get, I get that i heard the facilities are really nice, the nice. showers the whole nine yards it's really nice and then there's a lobby also where um uh, uh, not a lobby, a lounge where um, <laughs> you know, it's a bottle service. You know what I mean? Who's DJing tonight? <laughs> it's, it's a, it's DJ a lounge. Sweet Greens or something. <laughs> it's a lounge where I can write or, or whatever afterwards. Also, so sure. I just got to put earphones because the music is pretty. Now, you know, li- listen, you're now r- you're rubbing elbows with the Manhattan elite. Now nice. you're an equinox. Well, I'll tell you who goes there. Who? Uh, you want to know who goes there? Kind of surprised me. It's um. Did you ever see that Duke lacrosse documentary Thirty sure. for Thirty? Yeah, yeah, yeah. About that one, about the Duke. Like they were kind of faceless to me. I know that they got wrongly accused. They got railroaded. Yeah, yeah railroaded. But I watched the Thirty for Thirty. And I'm looking at the guys on the team, and they're like elite level athletes. Sure. And elite level in- intellects. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like I never. I, I just you know I never got into that. Sure. School. I wasn't. Sure, sure. I wasn't that elite of an athlete or elite of an intellect so i wouldn't have got in there but that's who is at this place a lot of confidence over here <laughs> i'm just hey, thanks now for, i'm letting you know i'm being honest about who i am sure. thanks yeah, for yeah. clearing that up buddy we thought <laughs> we really thought you were blue devil's material <laughs> i thought i pegged you for an astronaut to be honest with you <laughs> <laughs> this is going to shock you guys, but I'm mostly blue collar. Oh, really? I mean, I t- <laughs> yeah. So well, I you got um, the Tony and Tina scholarship. Uh, Tony and Tina scholarship. Yes. Um, but um, that's who is there. That. Duke, 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 like Duke Harvard, like those type it's, of uh, yeah, guys no, who are like finance guys yes, and stuff. It's, it's, it's like it's the elite. It's the, it's, it's, the elite. It's, it's like the yeah. social. It's the gym social club yeah. for people in Manhattan. Right. And now also too i think with those like fancy things like they have we were talking about this with country clubs the other day Mm -hmm. because my brother joined a country club and then like we were all there in the pool hanging out and like they're all so rich they don't use the pool like because they all have their own pools and stuff. Oh wow! So it's like we're garb. Like okay. we were like the garbage family yeah. there. You guys now, have a raft in there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, we're doing, I'm doing. <laughs> I'm doing can openers and stuff. Brought um, our own grill. Do you? Do you? Are other people using the lounge and stuff like that, or are you the only guy in? Nah, the lounge? there's a couple people, but it's not that. <laughs> yeah. It's not that full. Okay. The lounge isn't that full, but it gets. Mike's got an armful of fucking cliff bars. Yeah. Has anybody asked you for your ID yet? Why you've been there? <laughs> so would you excuse me? 
Um, no, no one has asked me for my ID yet. There, I guess there are guys. I, I guess I. Sir, do. you're a member here, right? <laughs> Sir, what are you hey, buddy, the HVAC is downstairs. <laughs> yeah. huh? hey, Why is that janitor writing jokes? Has anyone thrown you any used towels? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. Thank you. Um, I think what Kippy's saying is like, do the do the real real rich not even go in and of, use you know. the eucalyptus? This they go no, in and work I'll out tell and you right the, away. I'll tell you what the real rich do that I really like a lot. No one talks. I love that. No one talks. Love There's that. a sign in the locker room that says, "Feeling chatty on your f- take your phone, take it outside." You're also no selfies in the mirror. Like they t- they had. There's a sign that says no selfies really? in, the, in the. Yeah, it might be only the women's locker room. I don't know, but I don't know. But that the, I, <laughs> I, I like, that's where I change. I like the fact that there's no talking, but everybody's civil. If you need to like get around, like whatever, even on the gym floor, it's like hey, there's not a lot of talking. And uh, the, I went to the Planet Fitness to try that out too. And it's like there's a guy. It's night and day. There's a guy living on the leg machine, basically. So it's like, I, I, come on. Hey, man. buddy, when you're done, I gotta go to bed. One too many, <laughs> one too many pairs of jeans in there. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Working out in jeans <laughs> is a bad loss. Yes, it's a bad sign, and there's a lot of that. Yeah. It looks like one, you're just training to be a criminal. One, you look the other way, but two, it's like, what are you getting ready for a video game? And also, like on that, there was this, you know, the Smith machine with the rabbit. No. With the, <laughs> I, tried, I, tried, I really didn't want to well, lie to you. cut me off at the knees. <laughs> uh, well, there's a Smith machine. There's like one or two Is that two like a rotisserie chicken machine or something? <laughs> yeah, I tried it's, to pretend like I knew, but I didn't. It's that thing where it's it's on a rack. It's a machine, but it's you can bench on it. You can squat on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It's, oh, like, yeah, it's okay. like a guide kind of. Yeah, it's a yeah, guide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, a guide is a good uh, way to describe it. So there's only like one or two of them in the gym. And okay. then the last time I was at – when I went to Planet Fitness at one time – um, guy living on the leg machine, and then there there was a guy just he I don't know if he was doing a podcast, but he had like a full <laughs> conversation with another guy for like an hour on that machine. It's like no one else could get there. Sure, sure. Um, Holy shit! Oh, that's so I pull the trigger on it, and uh, I'm starting to feel you know. I Does don't know, it make I, you feel good? Yeah, I, I do affirmations matters. and stuff. I do yeah. affirmations to feel like wealth driven um, affirmations, and I don't care if your fans think it's corny. <laughs> no, so buddy, I, I but love it. But being at that gym makes me feel you gotta feel good, wealthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes no, me for feel sure. Wealthy. Yeah, that's awesome. I love that. This yeah. is actually this is a perfect segue into the questions. Um, cause this is, uh, so guys, as you know, uh, we, when you join, we'll answer when you join Patreon, we'll answer your garbage question on the air. This is a perfect say I had it already pinned to be the first question to ask you. And this is okay. fantastic. This is from Ted. Do you shower in the gym after your workout or do oh you shower God. at home? Equinox. I don't shower at home anymore. <laughs> really? I really don't. Oh. I shower. Do you shower better at Equinox? I always. It's gotta the, be the showers are not. The showers are really nice. Yeah. And I, what I do is I take a hot steam and I push myself to stay in there to really sweat it out. And then I uh, take a cold, cold shower oh, afterwards. And then it, it makes you feel invigorated. You, you feel afterwards. alive. You do. You yeah, feel yeah, alive. Yeah. 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 Some people do drugs or something to like get that. Is the I go the opposite way. I start de- depriving myself of oxygen, <laughs> and uh, so, really that does work. It does no, the same thing as drugs. I used to go to the I Russian drugs anymore. The Russian so. Turkish baths a lot uh, down yeah. in the East Village. That was the same thing. You're in the th- you're in the sauna, and then you hop in that cold pool. Right. Like, you feel fucking alive. Yeah. Everything yeah. starts cooking. Yeah. Synapses are firing. Synapses. <laughs> That's rich guy thinking right there. I'll tell you that. <laughs> But I realized that when I was doing, when I did hot yoga, I did hot yoga in Queens for years and you come out and it's like, oh my God. And then after you take a shower and then walk out, I was like, I feel high. Yeah. It's euphoric. It's feel high. Yeah. yeah. But you're feeling high on regular, on regular oxygen once you've been deprived of that in a hot room for an hour and a half. (laughs) It's a guy fucking hard nosed over here. Did you ever hold your breath for really long? (laughs) I do a breathing practice first thing. What do you do? Four, seven, eight? What are you? I do um, the Wim Hof. Wim Hof. Five rounds of Tumo breathing. Like Stares yeah. at Wim himself. Hoff, in he's the... dropping Wim Hof. Guy knows what he's talking about. Over here. Stares at himself in the mirror for twenty five minutes. That's right. So, <laughs> Whoever <laughs> blinks first loses. <laughs> make a move. Make a move. Uh, <laughs> ah, I love it. He fakes for his gun real quick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, this one's just funny. This is from Gene. Have you been electrocuted as an adult? <laughs> electrocuted. Because <laughs> if you are, you're probably poking your nose around somewhere it shouldn't be. Electrocuted as an adult, <laughs> or have you been electric even as a kid? No, I'd have to say no. Yeah, I would have to say no. But an interesting story about my father. My father was on a ladder. Is he available? <laughs> <laughs> you know, my my dad is dead. But I feel like I should communicate. You know, <laughs> this for him. 
he was painting on a roof and uh, it, he got close to some wires or something and the electricity went through the paint. Ooh. The paint is a conductor. Whoa. Really? Uh, electrocuted him. He fell off the ladder and cracked his head. Jesus. It was huge. It was when I was small. I remember yeah. it though. I remember he has a big scar. He had a big scar on his head. Damn. You know? But I stuck a paper clip in a nightlight once when I was a little Did kid. Did you really? <laughs> yeah. And I got shocked in my adult in my adult. You know, I never knew that when you put the bulb into the light that there's a little coil there's a little flat thing in there that That's touches. what got me. Mm. That touches. That's what got me. And yeah. dude, that was that shit was on and I stuck my finger in there and the thing made the connection. God damn, it was like I got bit by a blue crab. Wow. Dude, I yelled I yelled something bit me. My mom my mom came into the living room like what the fuck? Oh, your mom was there? I was like 11. I started wow. crying. I'm like, something bit me. She's like, what? She thought there was a bear in the house. <laughs> and you apparently thought lamps were alive. What the <laughs> it, it literally, it felt like a mouse trap. You put your fan when you're not expecting that. I was looking for the switch. You guys or are something. really curious kids to stick your. Um, <laughs> something bit me. You guys didn't listen. <laughs> so my parents were like, don't stick your finger. And, and they, they you never be, did that? You never did paper clip? Like, but there used to be. No, I never did that. What? There used to be. Uh, I was. Uh, Obedient as a kid, I just did what I was told. Did what I was told, and uh, but uh, I was a Labrador for my childhood. For, 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 it says for, obedient. I was. Where's was Mike? He's upstairs obedient. doing his push-ups and going to bed. It's six thirty. I was very obedient because in it with Italians, it's um, I mean, respect got thrown up in my face a lot. Like sure. you have respect, mm -hmm. you have respect for your. That's why my friends who are Jews, it really makes me laugh because they just they're asking questions constantly. Uh huh. They're constantly, and that's just that's like their culture. Sure. Our culture is you shut up and do what Keep you're your told. Keep your head down. Yeah. It's, do Irish Catholics told. very the same well, thing. Well, yeah. do, do you trust your parents? Do you trust your do you trust your coach? Just do what you're told. Mm -hmm. Then it's yeah. all based on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep so. your head down and work. Yeah. Dude, that reminds me. The last time we saw each other was at was 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 at a wedding. Right. And dude, he, he is this such of the T, man. You were like you, you were like somebody's stepdad. You didn't say a word really. Hello, how you doing? You sat down. You sat there and meticulously ate your meal. Eyes forward, chilling out. <laughs> dude, at one point I saw him on the dance floor. He was sitting in a chair. Just like, <laughs> like, dude, he really does mind his piece and cues. I love it. Yeah. I mind my own business. Yeah. Uh, but no, it's you, you sit. I'm That's not, why he's never been electrocuted. <laughs> <laughs> that really helps with the electrocution. <laughs> um, I stopped drinking. I stopped. I started fasting, you know, during the pandemic because I was a. Uh, overweight and whatever mm -hmm. so i started doing all that but n that wedding was the first time like everybody's gonna be drinking everybody's gonna, just sit in it enjoy it you know you and didn't I, you didn't booze that. that was the I first big test yeah, yeah it was the first big test but katie like had a couple drinks mm -hmm. and like she, she's having a good time so yeah. i was like it was but i had a really i had a blast it yeah. was like sitting next to an it was like sitting next to an uncle at a wedding <laughs> <laughs> you know what i mean you could tell he cared about you he, he, he gave me the how's everything going going good like yeah, everything's going good he's like good Good, good, good. His garden, <laughs> his plate. I put my hand on your head. Let me know if you need any money. Um, can I tell you a story about that though? Did yeah. you guys go hiking on that? Because it was an upstate. For I saw you, you right after the hike. Remember upstate. we bumped, we That's bumped right. into each other. Okay. He was, he was chugging waters. Yeah. he was sitting next to the water. Were you with Graham K? No. Oh, that group. No, I didn't go hiking. I just oh. bumped into you. I yeah. went to get what? a coffee. What? Are you crazy? I was at the pool. <laughs> I was smoking cigs in the pool. <laughs> That's pretty great. <laughs> I had Uber Eats on the way. <laughs> That's pretty great. That's trash. You guys are living up to your name, even in your sure. spare time. Well, also, before you finish, I, we were out on the back deck. I don't know if you remember. You started fucking crushing me. I was like, all right. Like, he came out. We were all talking. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to grab a drink or whatever. And like, I like stood up and he goes, oh, what? In front of everybody's like, is this not a garbage enough for you, Kevin? And then like, <laughs> everybody started laughing at me. He's just, he's got a thousand tags. So he's just fucking going. I just sat back down. I'm like, all right, I'm, like, I, I'm taking this one. Like a nail gun on your well, own, you guys on your own the, porch. You've taken the podcast world by storm. <laughs> and I'm not going to let you get away with it at a wedding. <laughs> um, Kip, let's talk about Bespoke Post and that box of awesome they got. Love them fellas, guys and gals over there. Quick story for you. My eyes are a little a little hazy mm -hmm. because I was out, went on a little nature walk with the lady. Did you? Brought my Bespoke Post hammock with us. Woo. Had a little spot right there by the river. It was absolutely fantastic. Fall coming in. Yeah. You got to get your hands on a box awesome. 
travel, outdoor, grooming, whatever you want. Send you a nice little box. You'll be ready for the fall. Guys, it's so easy. To get started, just take the quiz at boxofawesome.com. Your answers will help them pick the right box of awesome for you. They release new boxes every month across tons of different categories. It's cool stuff. They hooked me up. I mean, I got a knife. I got, you know, we got like the outdoor box. So I got a knife. I got a duffel bag because we travel a bunch. Uh, I love opening boxes with my the cool knife they get. Even in my apartment, I feel look real cool. I, Apple pick. I feel I feel woodsy. You know what I mean. <laughs> so it's free to sign up, and you can skip a month or cancel at any time. Each box only costs forty five bucks. But here's the thing, baby: they have over seventy dollars worth of gear inside. <laughs> it's cool guy shit, is what it is. It it's is. cool guy stuff. You, you're like, I don't know what, where'd you get that thing. Bespoke post. The, the, the box of awesome helps you out. You know what I mean. Feel like a man. Uh, you get 20% off your first monthly box when you sign up at boxofawesome.com and enter the code GARBAGE at checkout. That's G-A-R-B-A-G-E at checkout. That's boxofawesome.com. Code GARBAGE for 20% off your first box. Do it! Gang, this podcast is brought to you by the good people at BetterHelp. Is there something interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals? BetterHelp can help. All right? They will assess your needs and they'll match you with a licensed professional therapist. You can start communicating with them in under 48 hours. It's not a crisis line. It's not a helpline. It's professional counseling done securely online. Yeah, guys, uh, you can log into your account anytime. Send a message. It's easy peasy. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches, so they make it easy uh, and free to change counselors if need be. BetterHelp, you, BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today. Um, visit BetterHelp.com slash garbage. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, and join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. Uh, special offer for RU Garbage listeners. You'll get 10% off your first month at BetterHelp.com slash garbage. Uh, that's 10% off your first month. BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, dot com slash garbage. Folks, let me tell you about the good people over there at Lathwaite's. Lathwaite's? Yep. I'm sure you guys are just like us. You like a little wine these days. You want to know what you're talking about. You want to know where it's coming from. You want a little bit of variety. You got to get in touch with Lathwaite's. Yeah. Uh, Lathwaite's uh, wine subscription is an easy way to bring exciting new wines right to your doorstep. Unbox a world of wine with easy access to different and unexpected winemakers from all over the globe. Um, for Sounds a- so classy. Wine subscription. It does. How nice is that? Yeah, that's nice. Oh, well, we have a subscription. They send it to us. And listen, yeah. here's the thing. Lathwaite's does all the heavy lifting for you. They taste over 40,000 wines a year, but only 600 make the cut. This is So you're getting the best of the best, the cream of the crop. There they're not go. just sending you out, you know, uh, some Pinot that, that, yeah. they're, that they're no. brewing in a bathtub somewhere. You they know do I mean? it nice, man. They do it nice. And this way, you know. The, the, the coolest thing uh, is each box, whatever wine they send you, it includes tasting notes, food pairings, the inspira- like serving inspiration, stuff like that, that I'm trying to learn as I get older, I feel like a bozo when I don't know that stuff. Sure. You know, and like they, they sent us each one, and now like I know I'm learning a little bit about it. Hey, was a re-, Instead of just being like this, that. I Just think from the, mo- from the moment. Me, it makes me feel like less of a bozo. 100%. And from the moment that that box gets there, you're going to have knowledge about eight, Different wines I, off the jump. I feel like a rich guy. You uh, can run your mouth at parties for the next three weeks. Yeah. Uh, subscriptions are flexible. There's no commitment to continue. You can cancel online at any time. Right now, uh, listeners, you can get six amazing bottles of wine plus two bonus bottles, two stemless wine so glasses saying. for forty nine ninety nine plus tax with free delivery. Of course, they're doing Eight free bottles. delivery because Lathwaite's knows what they're doing. Just text GARBAGE to 64000 to get this special offer. Text GARBAGE, G-A-R-B-A-G-E to 64,000. That's garbage to 64,000. Terms apply. Available at lathwaite.com slash terms. Do it. Got to. Now back to the show. But the hiking, uh, um, I have to tell you this story. This is really funny. Uh, <laughs> I'm dating a very funny comic, Katie Hannigan. Yes. 100%. And uh, she goes, I really want to go hiking. It's for the endorphins, all that stuff. And I go, that's cool. And we we're staying in a very Have nice- you ever tried holding your breath for a half hour? <laughs> <laughs> I'll save get, some time. I'll get the ice baths ready. <laughs> She refuses to do the breathing. <laughs> I've tried met many times. Any t- anyway, we're, we're, we're staying in this nice, we're staying by a lake, this nice outdoor. Beautiful deep, property. Beautiful, beautiful place. We've talked about it a lot on the pod, yeah. Okay, well, she goes, I want to go hiking. I go, cool, let me just finish this coffee and eat something, and then let's go hiking, because I had a nice, beautiful breakfast mm-hmm. there, and I had some coffee, so I'm like, oh, cool, let's go. And she goes, no, 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 we can't. I thought hiking was just walking outside while being aware of nature. I thought that's what hiking was. No, that was a my yeah. a working knowledge of hiking. She goes, now we have to drive to where we hike. Mm-hmm. So I go, okay. So we drive, 
not that far, and we get there, and then we end up, we're on a mountain, and I go, what are we doing? She goes, yeah, this is hiking. I go, no, we're climbing a mountain. Yeah, yeah, she yeah, goes, yeah, no, it's hiking. Here. I go, no, this is climbing a mountain. She goes, well, we're hiking up a mountain. I'm like, don't improv. Yeah, this yeah, is, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, it's called we're, spade to spade. Yeah, 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 we're climbing up a mountain. So we got into an argument on the mountain, and then I was like, well, I'm going to, I'll just Google it, you know? And there's no Wi-Fi. Yeah, we the were out in doesn't have any land Wi-Fi, out there, yeah. so I complained. <laughs> I'm like, this mountain has no Wi-Fi. I'm going to give this mountain a very low rating. Yeah, I saw him afterwards in the snack bar. He was pounding water. Yeah, yeah, I'd yeah. only fill up like those like six ounce cups. Yeah, so he's slamming those. I got and he's su- like, did you go hiking? I'm like, fuck no, hiking. I got suckered into that before too in Hawaii. He's like, oh, we're going to go to the waterfall. Oh, nice. You should well, know well, there's not going to be a waterfall in the neighborhood. Well, I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's an excursion. To I get wasn't to expecting the- it in the mall or anything right. like that. But I didn't think it was going to be like I'm hanging on the rocks and doing that. Yeah, hikes yeah. are. <laughs> take a hike with a hike. I'll tell you that right now. Isn't there a hike on flat land, though? It's like nice, where you're that's walking? A, that's a, a walk. nice walk. No, is a that hike, a walk? I think, implies a trail no. and l- up, l- elevation up. changes. Oh, okay. I well, think. It's Not dumb. necessarily. Well, What's a hike? What do you got, T-Bone? The activity of going for long walks, especially in the country or woods. Okay, Ooh. that we were in the country <laughs> or the woods. 100%. I don't know. Plus, but, throw the mountain bullshit in there. Yeah, the mountain, the elevation is really what got me. Because yeah. then I was furious with her, and uh, I stormed <laughs> off. And Did it's you? hard to storm off when you're going vertically. <laughs> Your screams are echoing around yeah. the woods. I hate you, you. And then you. do you guys remember that they were like, "Oh, there's bears around," but if you just we yell at them, if you just yell at them, it's fine. That's yeah, one are. rolled through the cocktail. Yeah, party. like really, like yeah, 20, Friday 20, night, twenty yards from where we were all like smoking cigs, like out by that where everybody was like smoking cigars and stuff. It just, you saw, like, the fucking, it was kind of like Jurassic Park when you would see just, like, the bushes move and right. stuff like that. And then, like, the kitchen staff came out. We're like, Chucky. get out of here, get out of here. And then they were like, ah, everybody's fine. They just wow. left it at that. Wow. I mean, I went inside for sure. It's probably just some dishwasher. They do that to give the tourists a thrill. <laughs> Let's go give these city slickers, uh, like, their money's worth. Roar. Did you guys get hammered? Uh, the first night, <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, the first night we got pretty banged up, stayed out late. The second night, I was sitting in the. The second night, we were sitting. We were the same night. We were sitting outside that bar, right. you know, like that whatever the roadhouse. Yeah, I was sitting next to him, same spot, same everything as the night before, and he did the same joke to this woman. Mm-hmm. She walked out with her kids. A good joke. She walked out with her baby. He goes, "Hey, how do you two know each other?" That's really <laughs> God. I, I love that, dude. Oh, I love that. That's uh, that's one that really just gets you. It's great. You know what I mean? I love that song. What Honey the Tino fuck are you doing? You're saying that Lyra's going to be using it now. Oh, my God. You that's son great. of a bitch. So he does it the first Friday night. Kills. Like, people jumping off the balcony. I love that. Kills. The second night, the same woman and baby walks out. He's just drunk and all fucked up. Hey, how do you two know each other? I was like, see, we're in reruns here. <laughs> I'm going to the ah, fucking night. Ah, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's great. <laughs> I literally go, I'm leaving. He goes, ah, no, what are you doing? I think it was a different kid. All right. <laughs> I mean, there was only two kids there. You know what I love to do if I see a woman who's pregnant? I walk up and go, um, who got you in trouble? <laughs> <laughs> That's a very 50s thing yeah, to say to somebody. You who got you in trouble? Who did you dirty? <laughs> your father know about this <laughs> what the fuck uh, so I had a great time at the wedding <laughs> the wedding was a lot of fun it was a good time awesome. we've talked about you like you made me think we've talked about it we've been talking about it for like a, two months the wedding because really? we talked about it before we had Casey B on the whole thing you know, yeah. Whole nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was really fun <sighs> man that's great I went to uh, eating now is the new drinking for me yeah. So eating, I really get it. Get into Are you going out for like nice things or do you cook in? What are you doing? No, I'm fasting. So it's like I'll have limited meals. So when I do get to eat, it's like drinking. It's like, ah, oh, it's this like you're, it's best. like, yeah, it's like yeah, taking it's your like edge off a little bit. It's your, your, um, what's it called? Your vice. Yeah. Per se. Yeah. Um, all right. This one's from Chris Please. Scott. Anyone in your family a flat earther? No, uh, I don't think my family knows what that is. <laughs> because like my my family doesn't know all the conspiracy. They're like, "What? Didn't we solve this a long time ago?" Like, they don't even get this. that that's a thing. That's how I'm not into technology my family is. That's good. That's yeah, they good. don't know all the conspiracies and all that stuff. Oh man, that's great. Uh, all right, this one's from Alex Tanello. How yellow is your pillow? <laughs> you got some stains on there, Mikey? <laughs> no, I'll tell you the truth. Um, that single guy shit, dude. 
What, I don't understand the reference. How yellow is I pee? Like, it? No, right? you sweat and then <laughs> oh. it leaves like a sweat ring. Okay. Yeah. Um, you you take the pillowcase off and then it has like crazy yeah. stains on the uh, actual pillow. Like sweating, no, yeah. I would have what... to assume yours growing up was probably like that. Oh uh, yeah, I had a. No, he um, was very obedient. <laughs> I, I had a beat up uh, pillow growing up because we didn't buy anything new. I felt like buying new things is like a. That's a new, th- relatively a new thing to me because we didn't, we didn't buy. I got to agree, stuff. it's the same thing of like just going and buying stuff. I'm like, oh, I can just go buy this. Yeah. They have, then my yeah. family was like, well, let's see. You right, know, right, right, right. Do right. we know a guy? Right. Is Aunt Patty getting yeah, rid of one yeah, type yeah. Of thing? I'm like, let's just, let's just go get the whatever, yeah. the bike or whatever. Mikey, yeah. did you have an actual comforter when you were a kid, or was it just an opened up sleeping blanket or sleeping bag? <laughs> no, I had a, um, <laughs> I had a very just. Uh, <laughs> I standard hanging upside down, actually. Standard so military, just a Navy SEAL bed. <laughs> no, 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 standard you know, standard issue foot locker. <laughs> <laughs> no, I shared a room with my brother until like uh, probably two weeks ago. No, <laughs> older um, brother or younger? Older. Older. So I shared a room with my brother, and we had bunk beds at first. And uh, but I got to say, uh, when I was um, single, I've had girlfriends, you know, in and out, but. I yeah they changed the whole game they, but yeah I would just I don't I'm not a big change the sheets guy right you know once in a while maybe because uh, I'm, w- I'm with you I'm sure I'm sure I'm Katie is though what what date or like well, how <laughs> how big of a I didn't hear what you said I said I'm sure Katie is though Kate that's that's what I was gonna yeah, go like absolutely. she's like she'll change it every week yeah and I go dude like come on we can't she's like no she so she just does it. She just does it now because I'll like complain about it. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, sh- that's the change. Like me before, I would. I mean, it would go push it months. I mean, a long time. <laughs> months. <laughs> months. I mean, yeah, yeah, one yeah. time when I was living uptown in Inwood, like I think it was a year. Yeah. Yeah. I, didn't uh, I bet it has like a, like a deep winter smell. Oh, in there. my God. It was. Uh, <laughs> I didn't smell or anything. It just because uh, that like would have caught my attention sure. to do it. But I just d- it's not something I thought about. Mm-hmm. But she does it like every week now. Is it my, my Sometimes it's nice when they're all worn in it like is. that. Yeah. 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 On a cold winter's night. Yeah. You feel like Scrooge tucked in there. All right. The germs really are comforting <laughs> after a while. Changing a uh, changing the bed sheets now, even like when like if my wife's like, "Hey, can you help me?" I feel it takes me back to when I was like five. Right. My mom was like, "Make the bed." I feel like a child. Yeah. I Is that when it. you weren't electrocuting yourself? <laughs> <laughs> but what, what I was saying, well, I'm not electrocuting myself. I help change the sheets. <laughs> what I was saying is, it's nice that they do that because it elevates you. Like yeah. you know, it elevates your game. Like you can't have a yellow pill now when you were right. a single guy in your own place. Yeah, but I those, probably, yeah. those pillows are being changed out on a monthly right, basis. Right, mine's right, right. yellowish for Different sure. Different kinds of fabric softener and air freshener. Right, right, right. It's actually pretty nice. That is pretty nice. Yeah. Uh, but I did have a yellow pillow now that I think about it because I never, <laughs> never I never bought it. a new pillow. Yeah. No. Never bought a new pillow. If I, if I wasn't changing the sheets, I certainly never bought a new pillow. <laughs> yeah, exa- yeah, you're not just getting a new pillow and keeping it moving. Yeah. So I'm a little bit garbage there. How, How many bit? pillows do you do? I think I don't know if we asked you Oh, this. I like... Uh, it, I like two because I like to hold one. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. That's garbage. It's, That's no. is, that, is that garbage or is yeah. that just being vulnerable? Yes, it's it's being vulnerable. Being vulnerable is garbage. <laughs> <laughs> We're stoic around here, Mike. <laughs> I do the same thing. I hold, I hold on. The, uh, oh, I hold on to that thing like a fucking search yeah. and rescue guy. Mm-hmm. And then you get a, the, your girl going, why don't you hold me like that? It's like it doesn't functionally. Not, no, yeah, it doesn't geometrically it's work. It's nice and cool and right. fluffy. And right. right. Yeah. It doesn't have a pulse. It doesn't judge me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the pillow doesn't judge me. Yeah. Doesn't, the, the pillow doesn't care if I snore, honey. <laughs> you break my balls. For five hours tonight. I... <laughs> Do you snore? Are you a snorer? No. No. Uh, <laughs> okay. I sleep quiet. <laughs> I can imagine. I with Jesus my, Christ. With my eyes open. Like a Sicilian assassin. <laughs> <laughs> with a blade and my eyes open, ready for anything. Just a fedora pulled down over his eyes <laughs> in a chair. <laughs> so my case propped up. <laughs> with a cigar burning in the ashtray. Uh, well, if I'm sleeping, who's on watch? <laughs> uh, I, I don't think our relationship would work if I did snore because Katie has to sleep with complete Silence. My wife's my wife's kind of the just same to see way, complete yeah. silence. So I have to put earplugs in because I got to sleep to something you know lulling me to sleep. So and, earplugs uh, are like AirPod. You sleep with AirPods. music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I sleep or with like pod. a. a pod you got headphones on in bed? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, headphones in bed. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. And uh, are they wired or no? No, no. Do wire. they stay in? <laughs> yeah. You probably don't toss and turn a lot. You're probably it's an old like, disc man. You're probably a straight up and down kind of guy. <laughs> I'm a straight up and down. <laughs> yeah. Or, uh, I go to a side once in a while, but mostly they they'll stay in. Yeah. But I got to say something about like 
are sleeping quiet. Like, um, you know, I, I'm, I like to sleep quiet, but sometimes things wake <laughs> like you he's up. On and ambush. They're, so, they're so hilarious. <laughs> like things like, um, we were in Queens and, uh, we were sleeping and it's like Saturday morning. It was like 9 a.m. His chainsaw mm-hmm. is so like, right outside. <laughs> it's the, com- but it sometimes com- it's comically dude, loud. It's comically <laughs> loud. It feels like, it feels it, like it, they're I, in the room. You're like, what the fuck? It feels like the guy was in the room. It was really something. So <laughs> yeah. I'm like kind of waking up going, oh, this is. You know, I'm disturbed by it, but this this is so loud, it's funny. Sure. <laughs> sure. She did not find the same yeah, amusement no, 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 no. in it. And it's like, what do you do? Do you go out and confront a guy with a chainsaw? <laughs> no, not I at mean, all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's... You're kind of screwed at that point. Right. Uh, do uh, do you set an alarm in the morning or you just wake up when you wake nah, up? Yeah, I wake up when I wake up. I love that. Yeah. It's pretty good. But I, I have to, like, uh, pee sure. in the morning. So uh, I usually... That usually wakes me up mm-hmm. about five hours in. Yeah. And then if I have nothing, I'll go back to sleep. If I do have something, then You'll I'll probably just get stay up. up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I hate that so much because I'm starting to have that too. That's the first thing I got to do. And I know that I lay there for at least an hour or two fighting it off where I'm not like relaxed sleeping. You got to But I'm like it. worried about that because I wake up in like a bad mood, like, oh, like, eh. And you got a fucking sleepy eye to yeah, the yeah. toilet. Yeah. Well, I, I get a, I used to push it, but now I just go get it done with now, get, done. get back in bed. And I stole my wife's eye mask. And it's like weighted, and it's got lavender in it, dude. That puts me out for. I don't know. I don't know if I'm allergic to it or if I'm like having. If I'm slipping into a coma, I go out for another like three, four hours with that thing on. That's awesome. It's great. And you go right back to sleep, um, dude. You put this. It's like pressure. It's like heavy. It's like beaded, kind of. And it's just fucking. You're out, dude. Wow. Out. How do people ever sleep in caves? I don't know. Oh, dude, you know what I mean? Don't Without know. all of our, we have all these uh, different. No way. No way. See, I'm out. <laughs> I, I, the room has to be I would have jumped too. off the first I'm locomotive still, bridge I could find. I'm still find. pumping my AC now. Oh, yeah, I, yeah. I got, it's, got, it's on 62, right on right. me. 62? Like yeah. Wow. Yeah. To get to bed, yeah. I keep it on I 70. Down. 70? 70. Yeah. Oh, man, this guy's old school. What are you, what are you, a, <laughs> what are you a homeowner? <laughs> <laughs> Who's touching the thermostat? Uh, Katie, don't even look at that, okay? <laughs> it's... It's brisk in there, though. <laughs> but sleep is, I mean, I mean, it is really important. Very, very important. It is. I don't want to bore your, um, <laughs> your fans here because no, no, they no. probably don't get any sleep. Oh, man, that's so funny. Uh, all right. Um, let's see. This is from Dan D. Uh, first time question. Ever take a day off from school or for a religious holiday that you didn't practice? A religious holiday. And you lied and said, hey, um, you know, I'm Jewish. I'm taking off a Rosh Hashanah. Oh, uh, no, but I, we did. I don't know if Vecchione could pass Vecchione for that. could pass for Jewish. I'm, I'm sympathetic. <laughs> sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did a fast the other day when it was. Uh, for Rosh Hashanah. Rosh was that Rosh Hashanah? Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I'm in solidarity. Did you really? Or that yeah, was well, also fell in line with your fasting? It fell in line with the fasting, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah, I was yeah. like, I'll do it with the Jews. That's great. Yeah, we could do it. Nah, Equinox was closed. <laughs> <laughs> Um, there is a, what's the, what's the wooden, the uh, thing they put on the door? Mezuzah. A mezuzah. There's a mezuzah because the person who owns the building, the bil- no, the person who owns the apartment mm-hmm. is Jewish. Yeah. So they kept it and we just kept it on. Yeah. Mine's, well, of course, I got one yeah. on. Ninety percent of apartments in New York yeah. have a mezuzah on the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because in case the angel of death decides to Is that what it is? Come. I don't know what it is. It's like I thought, I thought it was something. the lamb's blood. I don't know exactly what it does, but I know you leave it there. You it leave it, it there. It gives, gives you a nice cozy vibe. I'm though. not a religious guy, but I'm yeah. not taking something oh, down. Never. It's there. It's there. You leave it up, or the if you take it down, the rent goes up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I worked at a Greek place one time, and they had a, they had the evil eye hanging down by the window, right. and I didn't know what that was. And I'm over there, like cleaning it and touching it and moving. It. I'm like, what does this do? He's like, keeps the evil spirits away. Right. Like, I'll be in the fucking kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what the Italian horn does. Is that what it is? Yeah, that it keeps the, the evil spirits away. Do you have one? No. Are you? A, you're I'm a, not a jewelry not guy. Not a jewelry guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you were given one at some point in your life, though. Yeah, I was given a bunch. Yeah, I just it never. <laughs> I would always like wrestle with my bro, like re- be wrestling with cousins, or brother, whatever, and it'd always get yanked, get yanked and, out. and broken, and it just never, or I could never get into the routine of putting it on every morning. Yeah, that's what yeah. I forget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, and then I'm like, oh, this is a choice that I. Yeah, it's weird. I oh, but uh, the skip, the, the, I did. How about um, we, my junior year? We had a senior skip day, mm-hmm. and no one was going to school, not juniors or seniors. Sure, but it was a senior skip day. And uh, I told my mother, I'm like, I'm taking off. You know, I made the mistake because I thought we're, you know, we're all on the same page now, basically an adult. Mm-hmm. And she goes, no, you're, you're going to school. 
And I go, yeah, but no one's going to be there. And she goes, it doesn't matter. It's school day. You're going. My mom's a teacher. Yeah. So she goes, you're going. You think she would know the idea? It's like a. I'm like, right. No one is going to be there. It's a little reward. I mean, not my senior year. My senior year, I I learned. Yes, this is also junior. This is junior year. So, but I'm like, no one is going to like, no one's going to be there. No one, not juniors or seniors. Maybe sophomores and freshmen will be there, but not juniors and seniors. What am I, a nerd? Yeah. What am I, a nerd? She goes, you're going. So I went, and no one was there. You were like the only guy in. Math well, I mean, class or it, the class was like, you know, you go to class, and they were like, you could just do a puzzle or something. Like yeah. Every, it was a complete waste, but I did go because I didn't want to be, you know, I did yeah, with yeah. my. Didn't want to disappoint your mother. You were an obedient guy. Obedient she kid. said, do a puzzle. And then the next year, <laughs> we did had senior skip day, and I just we just went. We got um beer and went to a a, a lake and just got obliterated. Mm-hmm. It was That's great. A good time. It was really fun. I remember having such a good time. Yeah. Yeah. Better than the puzzles, huh? It was better than the puzzles. <laughs> I think it was better than listening. Public school kids, we we get a we get a pretty nice dose of that. Well, you don't have to really do that. Like you don't have to really fake. They give you off for like every for everybody's different right. holidays. I also think it depends on where you're at. Like we grew up in ah. Philadelphia, there's a large Jewish community, same with New York right. and, and Boston. But I, I think if you're in the middle of Minnesota, I don't think you're getting off for the Yom kids Kippur. In, the right. kids in Omaha aren't riding the Ramadan coaches. Well, now they, they, we're in the age of the internet, so everybody is connected to everybody's yeah, conscious of everything. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. feel like. Well, oh. I used to work my uh, my last day job was at a, or one of my last day jobs was at a law firm, and they would say because it was also this was my first time of like, hey, back in the day. I would work places and I was like, hey, if you're Jewish, you can take off for this. If you know, if you're, you know, if you're Christmas, you can take off for that type thing. But you were expected to be there otherwise if you didn't observe. And they kind of knew everybody. But this was like the first. It was like a New York. You know, it was a big law firm, and you weren't allowed to ask. Like if you were just like, hey, I'm observing, they would go, okay. Like they weren't allowed to push. That's back. like COVID right, now. Right. That's yeah. like COVID now. You want to get out of something? All you got to do is call and say, hey, I got, I got a little fever. I don't think it's COVID, but I got a little fever. Yeah. That's it. You'll That's never it. hear about it yeah, again. Yeah, yeah, wow. Yeah. So you they, got that get out of jail free card for anything moving forward. Don't you think there's some abuse with the businesses now? They're like, our new COVID hours, eleven to eleven fifteen. Dude, 15. I tried right now. And I'm like, <laughs> dude, come on, dude. You just don't want to. You just don't want to. They're using it as an excuse. Yeah. And I, dude, I called the post office because they like left a package or whatever, and it was like, due to. Uh, <laughs> Due to you know the COVID protocols, we're you know we're behind. I'm like, do you suck before this? Don't use this as a fucking cop out. Yeah, yeah. You were tanking it before. Uh, yeah. Hmm. So yeah, that not religious holidays, but a senior skip. Hmm. Okay. Senior it's skip nice day. in public school. You get into October to Jewish holidays. You're only in there like two, three days. That was my favorite. Then you got yeah. Halloween. Yeah. Right. Start knocking it out. Like, all right, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Couple Into days in November. Do Thanksgiving. Next, well, you play you know, football, right? Yes. Yeah, I play football too. So it's like you, you're you start two weeks before you know training camp starts, like two weeks before school. So yeah. you're already kind of in. Yeah. Double days and all that stuff. I You're like in, that. I like that routine. in college too. That that felt good yeah. being there a couple weeks before getting your getting grounded, Bearings, yeah. troughing off the work certain cafeteria people. And but all did that you stuff. did you ever do the thing where it's like you you know I did it with football and wrestling even more so. But you're just uh, – because the, the, one's a fall sport, one's a winter sport, so they go back to back, and you're going one right into the other. Yeah. So it's like um, you're tired. Yeah. And you just want to go home after school like everybody else, and there would be a thing where. In our school, you'd walk out and people would walk to their cars and then you'd walk to the locker room. You'd mm-hmm. split off and you would see the people walk into their cars and I would be like, I just want to go home. Going off. Yeah. I don't feel like going to practice. Smoke weed, hang out that with girls, me, do I fun a, stuff. I had a Bernie stuff. lit, walk into the cars, see you later, Doris. Yeah, just go. and and But you, I always, you always had to go the other way. I always had to go to practice. Yeah. That's why I love the spring. To this day, I love the spring. I'm not a big no Christmas guy. No responsibilities. Christmas, because we used to have Christmas tournaments, and you just have to cut weight. So I sure. could never really enjoy Christmas. I still love Christmas. I was never but a I did the Christmas, Christmas guy. I mean, I, I get what it is, and I get that. Every, <laughs> but I, everybody was Very stoic overeating and everything. I was like, uh, I Merry Christmas, know. Pop. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. You all just exchange money envelopes. <laughs> they go to dinner. <laughs> But uh, the spring is like when I could like, oh, I'm going to go home. I'm going to hang out with friends. Sure. I'm going to like, oh, it's great. Nice, relaxing. Here's a question for Mike Vecchione that I have since what do you we've got? been talking about it. It's been talked about a lot. You want to wrestle? Here on this program. <laughs> let's get it. Let's go let's Who do you go think home. you could take me? <laughs> <laughs> let's do it. What is your favorite flavor of the beverage known 
as Gatorade. This is a big one. The very diff- I cannot foresee him siding with you idiots. Of course not. I don't think he's even going to know. If he does, that. I'm right. leaving. Okay, can I say something first that I don't drink Gatorade? I know it. Yeah. I don't drink it because it's too much uh, sugar and stuff. Sodium and yeah, all that yeah, stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But if you, before, that, yeah. that's a rule of, as of recent. <laughs> um, the lemon. I got that yes and yeah, back. Yeah, because lemon, I. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> From before. <laughs> From before. <laughs> I don't drink Gatorade. I don't drink Gatorade. Because exactly. I got a juicer and I was like, oh. I but you did juice. when you were a kid. You yeah. remember Gatorade gum. I mean, come yeah. on. You remember when it was in the glass yeah. bottles. Yeah, the glass Blow bottle Gatorade. Blow your fuck. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, marketing. youngster. Unbelievable marketing for Gatorade, by oh, the way. I mean, the whoever's Gatorade man behind, come and deliver it from house oh, to house. Whoever's too. behind that is a genius. <laughs> fuck your mom. Yeah. I got that one in. They, they, they drowned me out, but in the comments, I like that one. <laughs> that one's for the fans. The Gatorade man comes green. Yeah. Comes house to house. Lemon lime. Lemon lime. Yeah, of course. That's, yeah, yeah. That no, it's just lemon, I think, yeah. right? Just that lemon. was Gatorade for a while. That was Gatorade, of that course. That was the original, right? That was Gatorade? Yeah. What was next? I believe it was either orange or fruit punch. I would, I would say... Orange is pretty... Or, yeah. Definitely wasn't fierce opinion. grape. No. But, I'm, gla- <laughs> yeah, but I'm glad they finally they got to it. They didn't jump to Glacier Freeze real quick. <laughs> now we're into Axe body spray sense. I think yeah, that's, that's the same about. thing. Like it's, I feel like it's a computer generated. Right. It's not like a fucking, you know... <laughs> Give me a real deal. Great. Yes. Something. Not like wild cherry fucking go fuck yourself. I love them all. It's and you wouldn't recycle the plastic bottle either. You would just throw it on the street throw like an out. adult. Littering yeah. back in the 90s was yeah. wide open. Yes. Yeah. I don't agree with it. I don't litter no. now. But Littering back in the bad. day, you know, you would, how many times you'd be driving and you see a McDonald's bag fly out the yeah. fucking window? To the point, though, that now you don't really see. You think you would still see that stuff out there if it buy, buy, takes so long to biodegrade. I haven't seen a lot of cleanup. I haven't seen a Big Mac styrofoam thing in a long time. Well, can I say a a joke I used to have where it's like, I want to be rich enough where you, um, I'm driving by a a sign that says littering a $200 fine, but I throw a McDonald's bag out the window and I hits a cop, cop grabs it and then um, chases me and comes to the window and goes, this is a, you littered. This is a two hundred dollar fine, and I go, officer, open the bag, and he opens it, and it's three hundred dollars inside. <laughs> I go, there's a hundred for your trouble, and then I just speed off in my Ferrari. In my Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> like That's my have, dream. I like you didn't have the Ferrari at the beginning of the story. Was <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should have set it up. With no, the no, I like it that no, way. Oh yeah, that's what I'm that saying. Way. That's funny. <clears throat> um, all right, let's see here. This is from Josh. This is just a silly one. Ever have a unibrow? Uh, no, but uh, my individual brows, I never had the heavy in the middle, even though I'm Italian. But uh, the brows do get out of control. They get they out get, of control. Yeah, like yeah. They start growing. Like, Outward uh, and stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the hair in general, like uh, ear hair, I never mm-hmm. had an issue with it before maybe two years ago, where yeah. it starts growing like... And like it's trying to get Wi-Fi. It is a it's like growing out of the top of my. I have to pluck them. Uh, I'm in a battle uh, yeah. with it. I just do when I go to get my eyebrows waxed. I have them do my ears too. Knocks it right out. What's eyebrow wax? What's what does that entail? Because I'm all. I, I would have shave them. I would have a you. No, it's wax. Oh. Do a little thing, top, bottom, do the middle. Because I would have a unibrow. Wow. I've been fighting that fight my whole life. Yeah. I don't get it. I'll get some in there. And then uh, I have to clean up every cup. But like yeah. it never. It never bridges the gap. You right. know what I mean? You just get you get, gets messy. High what does that mean brutal. if it does? Huh? What does that mean if it does? It needs, means you need a fucking Bic razor to fucking right down the middle. You can't be walking around high school with a fucking uni B. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, that's a bad look, Mike. <laughs> what? That is a bad look. But you, you got a good head go, of hair, though, still. You still a good head of hair. I like the salt and pepper. Yeah. But it looks great on you. Well, I'm. can I make a confession yeah. on your podcast? I think I know what you're going to say. I don't think you have. You know what this? what's coming. Go ahead. I cut my own hair. I came off the road this weekend. I think and we know that. I yeah, we knew you that. cut your own hair. I cut it, and uh, the the uh, um, clippers slipped, and uh, I cut a hole in the top of my head. Oh! oh! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me see. Look towards me. Oh, my God, Mikey. <laughs> and that's an exclusive that you guys are getting here on this podcast. You got to do it at this camera. You, yeah. you can't cover it. You got it. There you go. Yeah. That's Move your hand. covered. Your, yeah, there it is. Oh, that's, that's punched good. in on. <laughs> that's funny. funny. But we have to move forward. Did you got to you know, keep, keep trucking. You know keep I mean? trucking, Did and it'll grow it? back. And then uh, I, I could have just shaved my head, I guess. That was the other ah. option. Yeah, I would have no, never noticed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't notice, you know, straight on. Right, straight on. But everybody taller knows. Hopefully yeah. they keep it a secret. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me you just had something to remove your weight and <laughs> yeah. waiting on a biopsy. Well, my th- my uh, 
my strategy is all my bad thoughts will go out of it. <laughs> no That's a vent. Keep it positive. Um, all right, this one's from Patrick. First time question. I can't foresee, as if somebody as classy as yourself, I can't foresee this. Does anyone in your family breed animals? Breed animals? No. No, I mean, but I, I do have family in Ohio, which is, um, it's around a city, but there's, there's, it's a really like a country area rural around area. the city. Rural, yeah. Any hamster farmers? But, um, nothing like that, no. Dogs, no. No. Nobody good. like that. That's good. No one breeds animals. Because that's a bad look if it is, if you do. It's, just, it's never, it's messy. But you, it's you just have to be medical. scientific, kind of, if you do that. You I don't think no. the people are. That's really? the problem. No. That's the bad look. Whatever. Yeah, they're not in a lab like, they're mixing like beakers. Matching. It's just, nah. yeah. they're having, you know, giving birth to puppies in like a, a kiddie pool. Or My just boy's saying. mom had a full, a, a full, a full grow operation of gerbils. It was fucking. Really? Yeah. Oh. Brutal. Just made my blood there was no signs. Are involved. people still growing weed in their closets and stuff? Is that still a thing? Maybe not in their closet, but I maybe would... on the patio. Yeah. The deck. Is it legal to do that? I, I don't know what the weed laws are now. I don't think... Everybody's saying it's legal, but I'm like, uh, it's like all these things where it's like, you can't sell it, but it, they can't do anything if you get caught with it. It's like all these That things. kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, you know, uh, there's definitely loopholes. I don't think you can grow it. Like, you can't just grow right. it. Yeah. You can't grow think. it. I don't think. I mean, like, I think you have to have a license to grow it. Right. You know. Well, yeah, you can't be. It's you like a cheap pet. Like you, you know getting in the dope game? <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> he's I'm just, a Manhattan guy. I'm now. just, cu- I'm just curious <laughs> be a about kingpin it now. in a couple of. Weeks. <laughs> I don't know. What's I the mean, straw how... purchase rules around here? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how long does it go before all of this just breaks and gambling is legal everywhere? And and they're trying sure. to like oh, that's hold right there. on to regulation, but it's just like. Just make it. I guess just make it. It's already breaking. So, no, no. Yeah. Hey, you know. let it all. Let I mean, it it's all not hang that out. we don't need the tax. We need the tax dollars anyway. You mm-hmm. know? For sure. In New York, uh, you can have uh, up to six plants, uh, weed plants per household. Oh, yeah. look at that. There you go. Hmm. Thanks, Cheech. Look six. at you. <laughs> hey, Panama <laughs> Red. Six plants per household. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And the regulation has got to be for, to have like to sell it. It's got to be. You've got to be like. Uh, Partners with the government, basically. Yeah, 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 for Do sure. You, you ever did that, Um, I think I mentioned this before, Uh, that Yonkers, they used to have comedy show up in, in Yonkers. Yeah, at the that casino. Race, that casino. It was horrible. It was tough. Yeah. It was tough, but I did it like, Good I did one of, I it was did a one Wednesday of the first and they ones. sent a car. It was yeah, fantastic. It was very, it yeah. was very. Not good. a bad Caesar salad from what I remember That was a well. hell of a chicken parm, too. Yes. Well, they used to give you like, they always do the typical comedy club thing where the first week they give you a steak and then you go back there six months later and they're like chicken fingers yeah yeah, 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 your yeah, yeah, yeah. Or chicken fingers <laughs> chicken fingers is your choice now we took the steak off chicken fingers are one less chicken finger. <laughs> <laughs> but um i the, i did the first one and um we i met the guy he was a son he was a lawyer of the people who owned it he was a part owner of it and he was like we're 50 50 with the government really yeah. he's like I mean, gambling. It Show seems car, like it's, yeah, it yeah, seems yeah. as if you're just winning, like you're making money. But it's like your your partners. Yeah, 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 yeah. Damn. Yeah. So I imagine it's a pretty we, sweet we flex. Probably weed the is same the same way. way. Yeah, yeah. You get hemmed up. You call the boys. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't think you're the first one getting yanked out of a hurricane situation. I'll tell you that. The <laughs> yeah. Blackhawks coming to my house first. <laughs> the Blackhawk. <laughs> <laughs> I got two pounds of orange crush in here. Let's go. <laughs> Take the junk up. Um, all right, this one's from Edwin. Uh, how many emojis per text message per text message do you send? I mean, are have you, you ever sent an emoji? Emojis is, is new for me. Yeah. What are your new. go-tos? Heart. <laughs> to who? Anybody? <laughs> not to me. Yeah. I'm not going to no, get a I'll heart. Send it to you guys. Really? A heart Katie right gets a heart. No, I, I, I love the message. <laughs> I love the message that you sent. I yeah. feel it loud and clear. Really? But a uh, heart, a thumbs up. And uh, whatever the ones. Oh, you're just going off to touch the thing. Yeah, you're not not going into them. Um, I will go into them for like a thumbs up or something. You're not a rocket ship or a ski guy. Not a flame guy. Sometimes I'll just send a um like a a flag that I don't know what it is. It's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, shout out like, to I'll Algeria. see you on Tuesday. Yeah. It's like Greek yeah, yeah, yeah. flag. It's like what? Yeah. No, I like to send the wrong emojis. Fire truck. <laughs> Do you need help? <laughs> Actually, I fire was truck? Ar- question mark. Uh, why did you send a fire truck? I'm an arsonist. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I'm a big on them. You're pretty big. We're we're yeah. all pretty big on them. I'd like them. to get away from it. I like the crying, laughing yeah. face is a fun one. I can't even tell what the my vision is going bad, so I was like, I can't tell who's crying and yeah. who's smirking. Like, oh, I sent you a smirking one. It's like, I, I don't know yeah. what it is. Uh, are you going to do glasses, contacts, or? 
No. Reading glasses? No, I'm going to... Your readers? Nothing. With dignity, I'm just going to... Just, just going to go blind. I'm going to go blind like my I'll dad did. Start guessing at a restaurant. Dad, yeah, do you yeah. do chicken? <laughs> <laughs> but the next time you guys see me, I'll have a dog. <laughs> and they're walking me through to the table. Uh, <laughs> that's good. Um, all right. Uh, so for Mike S., we have a couple more, and then we'll get out of here. Mike S., have you ever had someone you know been a Civil War reenactor? No, but I think that's a great, <laughs> that's really a great, um, Tony and Tina's is kind of like oh, that's the, right. the Civil it. War of an Italian wedding. So, yes, let's, so that's let's kind break of down what thing. Tony and Tina's is. Civil War of the 70s. It's a we, fake we, wedding. It's a fake and I know you guys are going to riff, wedding. but keep in mind, there's dignity to it. It was our Hamilton. <laughs> yeah, it was Millville's <laughs> Hamilton. <laughs> it was South Philly's <laughs> Hamilton. Okay, people were dying to get a, an invite. It was a fake wedding. It was also right. chicken parm served with yeah. mashed potatoes. <laughs> was it mashed potatoes? Did you go? Not ours. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> were you in the original Tony and Tina? It wasn't original. It was it wasn't in a spin yeah, there was no. <laughs> I was in the, the original um, was some junior high somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> I was in the South Philadelphia version. Of it, uh, <laughs> it's it dinner. Doesn't... It was dinner theater. Yeah. You go. You're yes. part of the wedding. And it acts like you're part of the wedding. Right. And you were the groom. You were. I was Tony. You for were Tony. A couple years. Yeah. I was at the it was the, at the Venice on Twentieth and Snyder, yeah, which was rough. Saturday nights at the Venice. Saturday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So when I started stand up, I would do stand up like you know you, you couldn't get up in Philly then. There was yeah. no helium. There was no, um, what's there now? Um, uh, punchline. Punchline. The they, laugh House was there. The Laugh House was there. So it was the Laugh House, and then that Northeast. Cabaret. Cabaret. Ran so that's all Karen. that was there. So there wasn't that many places to get up. So I would do Tony and Tina's three weeks a year, and then one weekend I would, like, do something, do stand-up. Yeah. But I would do, go to open mics on Wednesday, mm -hmm. and I was trying to do as much show business as you could do in Philly at that time. <laughs> sure. so that's what, what it was. What would a Tony and Tina gig pay about? $35. $35 a night. 35 grand. Thirty. <laughs> it was thirty-five dollars wow. a performance. And would they so you feed weren't you? doing it for the money. Yeah, you're in it for the yeah, love of the. Yeah, love yeah. Of the love would of they the feed you? Yeah, you could eat dinner and then. But what are you gonna fake eat at the first <laughs> reception? <laughs> we would. Drink. Hey, Mike, spit that out. <laughs> we would drink afterwards too, like the liquor and stuff. That nice. would be a good time. Yeah, I mean the bartenders were super cool, so they would just feed us. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, would just yeah, get yeah. hammered. And then I was dating a girl in South Philly at the time who lived a few blocks away. So I was um, living in Upper Darby, and then I would go down to do the wedding, and I would just crash at her place for the weekend. So, and she would go to like Center City and stuff to these high end places, and I would just go to the yeah, Knicks. That's, that's remember, real blue collar I mentality. I would She'd just, go yeah. to Center City to these ritzy martini bars. Martini bars, <laughs> and I would just get annihilated, and then just crash with her, and then we'd go and have breakfast, and then I would just, we'd just do the whole thing again. That was all. That was my ho my weekends for a couple of years. Love it. Yeah. Man, Love fantastic. that. Um, all right. Let's see. This is from Pete. Uh, ever date someone that was in prison? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. Just checking. You never know. Ever Even visit anybody in prison? I did have a girlfriend who told me that uh, she steals. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Like she's what? Like, sometimes just, I steal. Just stuff. Yeah. Shoplift. Yeah. You're not a shoplifter. I can't peg you. Nah, no, no, no. I can't do that. I can't. Man, I'm, I'm, a, honor, I'm a man of a code. I'm a big risk reward guy. Oh, I'm, just, dude. No, I, same thing. Same thing. In that for me. sure. Have you ever visited anybody in prison? Um, visited anybody in prison? No. But when I taught, I taught uh, kids with behavioral problems. And when I taught high school, I had a kid go to prison, mm -hmm. and I would write him letters back and uh. forth and he was like uh, it's not good to be in here he's like yeah. it's, it's really rough to be in here you know he huh. did some whatever um he didn't have that long of a sentence he had a um, whatever a couple years but i did write him and i would read his letters because they were all friends with him the guys and the rest of the kids in the class were friends with him uh -huh. so i read them that the was, letters yeah. whoa that's and like so fucking... to let them know it's like hey you know don't end up here this is where this goes. Sure. This goes to jail. You know, it's like it's not a good place to be. I mean, you guys think it's cool, whatever, doing whatever you want. Yeah. Like, this is where it goes. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's tough. I had a buddy same I thing. I regret right? asking you the question. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad. Yeah. Got stand yeah. and deliver in here yeah. real quick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> is it a joke podcast? Not anymore. <laughs> okay. You know, it's not a joke, your life. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had a buddy, same thing, uh, right out of high school. He got sentenced to four years. and But he got in a program where he would go and speak at high schools, being like, hey, he got all fucked up one night. There's like a fight happening. He's like, hey, one night can ruin your life. Like, I was he was playing football in college and stuff, and it was like 
So he would go to high schools and like give speeches. And I remember talking to him via letter. I'm like, man, it's really cool that you're doing that. You know, like I'm so proud of you. You're really, really realizing and turning around. He's like, nah, man, we just get McDonald's when we do those shows. So like, I just go and do it. Like, oh, That's yeah. hilarious. Just lying He's doing lying to McDonald's. kids for a fucking Big Mac. Whether you're doing it for the message or the McDonald's, I'd say. Well, uh, Foley's got his retirement plan covered. That's 100% <laughs> right. Hey, listen, kids. <laughs> Need a number two and a bust to Cleveland. Let's go. Yeah. Um, all right, let's do one more, and then we'll get out of here. Lovely. Uh, knock out some more. Uh, another first question. This is from, And I can't, you know, uh, ever attended a backyard wrestling show. Not like your wrestling, like uh, bad WWF. No, I, I went to some amateur wrestling when I was in Philly, though. Really? It was great. I was going to see if you ever competed well, in one. Ah, uh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> well, and, they were uh, big in Philly, even nationally. I Philly was it, like man. Philly was one of the like the headquarters. I of loved that. I so. went with my buddy, and uh, he was uh, he was uh, bouncing and coaching a team there. So he was like a special guest referee. Uh-huh. It was just great. I love that Chaos. stuff, man. Yeah, yeah, I love yeah, it. Yeah. Actually, I was just watching. Um, Old Andy Kaufman. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, that was stuff. nuts. That was I crazy. Love, I love him screaming, I'm from Hollywood. <laughs> I was like, You're from the South. You're dumb. I'm from Hollywood. I was talking to Nate, like Nate was telling me about uh, it. So I started, I went down a rabbit hole and just like looked it up. And uh, it's, he's screaming, I'm from Hollywood. I'm a star. You're nothing. I, I mean, so that funny. really just, I love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's great. That's too good. All right. Very good. All right, gang, that is the episode. Uh, Mr. Vecchione, like we said, October 23rd, filming a brand new Go see hour. Him. He's please. the best joke writer in the world, Thank I Thank you. Say. Come to Long Island. Please come to Governor's and uh, for the special. And also support uh, uh, Macaroni Rascals, my new podcast on Patreon with Greg Stone. And also my regular podcast on Gas Digital, Mike Vecchione Investigates. We're, gaming, we're gaining um, steam. So I'd like to have you guys both. Of course. Happy to, yeah. Point. Absolutely Happy to. fantastic. Thank you, buddy. Give me what do you got for him. Uh, guys, come to a live show. Uh, we have Long Island as well. We have Philly coming up. We're going to have a New York City date. We're announcing yeah. soon. Uh, it's going to be good. Get some cards and some koozies. We got some merch, the whole nine yards. We'll be doing a new merch drop soon with uh, T-shirts. Gang, we love you. We'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.